Hi, this is Tom Soane, just walking along Kirby Road here to the office and it's bloody freezing, but still I thought I'd share some advice, if you like, for any landlord that wants to gain possession of a rental property, which is a very common area for problems. Um, so I thought I'd give you the process and, and certainly my thoughts on it. But obviously there's two ways normally to get a tenant out of a property and to gain possession. And the first obvious way is by a section 21. Now you don't need a reason to do that. Um, it's just that you give the tenant two months notice to vacate the property at the end of the tenancy. The other way is a bit more serious. It's a section eight notice. And by the way, the reason they're called section eight and section 21 is because they're the sections of the housing act, which was brought in in 1988, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, a section eight notice gives the tenant two weeks notice to vacate the property. And that can be, I think there's something like 16 or 17 reasons that that, that could be used, but the main ones are normally rent arrears, uh, antisocial behavior, criminal behavior, uh, anything like that. Uh, or, or if the landlord indeed wants to, to move into the property, um, then you can, you can use a section eight for that as well. Um, but, if those two things don't work, and that's when the problems come about, if the tenant decides not to move, then you have to apply to the county court for a uh, for a repossession order, or a possession order. And that will cost you about 350 quid, and it can take a month just to even get into court, uh, which is difficult, because if the tenant's decided not to pay rent, then that just makes life hard for the landlord. So yeah, it's 350 quid for a possession order, uh, now, if that still doesn't work, then annoyingly you have to then apply to the courts again, it's the county court, for an eviction warrant, which is going to cost you another 120 quid. And again, it might take you another month to even get in front of the courts. And if you haven't done everything perfectly, if you haven't filled out the application correctly, if you haven't done your section notices properly, if the deposit wasn't registered, that can prolong that process too and cost you more money. So if you manage to get that done and, and you get to the uh, eviction warrant, you get that granted to you, then your tenant will be removed, which is a bit of a relief, I guess, if you've got a problem tenant. But look, part of all of that, obviously the tenant can give you notice, that's a nice way to do it. They only have to give you one month, so that's a benefit. But look, I would suggest for all landlords, Join the RLA, the Residential Landlords Association. It's about 75 quid a year. And it really gives people some good advice on, on how, that, how they can take action like this. Uh, but anyway, I hope that helped. If it did, then give us a like, hit the like button down there, give it a share. Um, see if we can help some other people that are in a tricky situation. Right, I'm at the office now. See you all soon.